guys, it's LPS Toaster Shuttle here, and today I am going to be doing a DIY. So today's DIY is going to be how to make some notebooks. This video was recommended in my LPS Updates video, so if you guys want to recommend more videos, you can down below. I'm always willing to take suggestions. So without further ado, let's get started. So today I'm going to show you how to make these little notebooks, and they can open up like so, and they've got their own individual pages that you can write on. The materials you'll be needing are scissors, a hole puncher, scrapbook paper, printer paper, and finally yarn, string, or ribbon. So, let's get started. First, take your scrapbook paper and fold it in half. So I folded it like so, and I know it's really bigger than I want it to be right now because I have a trick at the end that will show you how to even out all of your pages. So if you want to do that, you'll want to make it bigger than how you want it to look at the end. So then you will want to take your printer paper and trim it to the size that you want your paper to be. Make sure it is longer than the one page because we are going to be folding this accordion style. You're just going to fold the paper. You're going to fold it front and back to make sh and make sure it's even. And you're just going to do this right until you get to the end of your paper. So I've just folded it accordion style like so. Next, you are going to want to take your scrapbook paper and your regular printer paper. And you are going to want to put the printer paper in the middle of your scrapbook paper. So it should look like this, then I'm just going to keep in mind where my printer paper is, line it up at the edge, fold it, and I'm going to cut right where my printer paper ends. So it lo should look like so. Next you're going to take your hole punch and put a hole right in, like, right around this area of your notebook. When you're done, it should look like this. Next, you're going to take your yarn and make a knot around the hole. So it's going to look like this. Then you're just going to trim off the two ends to whatever length you would like it to be. And when you're done, you should have a little something like this. And you can make these in whatever sizes, shapes, and colors you would like which is what I find really fun about it, so you can make them personalized for your own pets. And when you're finished, you will have tons of little notebooks for your littlest pet shops. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe for more, because I make videos every week. Also, feel free to leave suggestions down in the comments below if you would like to see a certain type of video. Bye, guys. I gotta go get studying.